clothing, but for the work's sake. So Bobby once uh, called me a while back, and it's one of the reasons I was not mentioning it quite yet is because we hadn't really, he was unsure about a couple of the dates about coming. So anyway, it is the 19th, 20th, 20th and 21st. Let's have a testimony to another brother. Keith wanted to share a testimony. Can you come up here? That way, everybody will hear it. And it's that. It's clean. <laughs> the word little, I want to talk about little. A little bit of faith goes a long way. You know, a near miss, good as a mile. Little things God does in our lives can mean a whole lot. Uh, the Lord did a little thing, what really encouraged my wife and I just in the last couple of days, and some of y'all, I trust if you receive this, it's going to be a blessing to you. Uh, the ladies, maybe more so. Tupperware. How many of y'all ladies know what Tupperware is? How many of you ladies know what the cake deals are? You know, you put the cakes in, the old ones, like 20 years. They had a strap that goes around. Oh, yes, yes. Still good. Yeah. Well, Sister Betty brought a cake up the other day and had it with one like that. And uh, Irene uses a nice new one. And I'm putting it on to take it, bring it back to her. It's in her car. And uh, I said, that's kind of neat. You know, I had that works. And Irene said, well, I've got one, but I don't have the strap. He said, uh, so it was kind of like, I don't know how God does this with me, but it was like, I'm on a mission. <laughs> uh, some of y'all don't remember the testimony I shared about, I think you and Remain were on the same thought you said it wasn't going to attack me. Don't, don't, don't look down. I have a testimony. Don't slap the chest. Yeah. Uh, don't slap the chest. Well, I have to get happy here. <laughs> slap the podium. I shared a testimony, I don't know if you ever heard this, of finding a toilet brush in one dumpster one week. Some of y'all remember, how many of y'all remember me where I'm going with it? Three weeks later, in another dumpster, three miles away, I found the bottom. <laughs> you want to see it coming to my house? Now, why God does stuff like that? I don't know. <laughs> well, my wife and I were laughing about this Tupperware. Lad, was it yes? Yesterday? Was it yesterday? <laughs> Guess what? I found it today. <laughs> I found, it has to be 30 years old, a 30 year old the strap for that Tupperware, and it didn't have the other part. <laughs> now, does that mean anything to y'all? It means something to me, because it's kind of like little taps on the shoulder, yeah. little, little things that God does for us sure. every day that we don't see, that he wants us to see those things. You know, you, you know, a little smile can go a long way to make somebody else's day, right? That's right. You know, a little thing. So little foxes can spoil the vine, but, you know, I just thought that was kind of neat, and I wanted to share it. And uh, next time you come over the house, if you see a, a Tupperware cake pans hanging from the ceiling, there's a meaning for that. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Yeah. So, <coughs> they'll probably have Dara ask me why it's up here. <laughs> that was supposed to be a little testimony. Thank you. God cares about those things. Well, I want to, uh, want to move on. 
Uh, well, I want to give some time. So, anybody have a testimony that they just have to share? Well, then I'm going to move on. You know, um, one of the most exciting things that I can see in somebody's life uh, as a believer is when they get a hunger for the Word of God. You know, and because I've experienced that. I've experienced a great hunger at times. Um, sometimes it wanes a little bit, but when I first got saved, God gave me a great uh, hunger and thirst for righteousness, you know. And um, so when I see somebody sharing that they're really getting into the Word, it really, it really excites me, and I think that that's a beautiful thing. Well, I had uh, Brother Wayne, Wayne Chellis, has been sharing that with me some recently. We met for breakfast one day. Just how God is just really... Um, Open, opening and blessing him in the word. And Wayne, how long have you been a believer? 39. 39 years. And, you know, usually you're on the decline, right? But he said God has really gave him a hunger and a thirst to read the word and study the word. So that, that, that makes me happy, mm -hmm. right? So uh, I asked Wayne to share, to share a little bit tonight with us. Told him he could take five minutes, take 30 minutes, three hours. Just depends on what, what's how this is going to open up. 